Hey guys, what is going on? This is T-Ray Yu-Gi-Oh! And uh, today we are going to be looking at a tech profile for prophecies. Uh, the, the new OCG prophecies with a uh, day of judgment. If you guys are wondering uh, about a build, uh, I'll show you mine. So essentially we have three, three effect failures. Uh, they're spellcasters, so they're good for, uh, for life. You can remove them with life and they give you access to like Tempest and then they're also a defense to stop you from getting OTK. You got uh, your High Priestess, your Boss Monster, you got your Injection Fairy Lily. This guy's only in here to um, to uh, beat uh, beat uh, Ophion, I think his name is, uh, the, uh, the Evil Swarm guy. Uh, so in the TCG, like if you're not playing on the Lit Network, once it comes out in TCG, you probably won't need to play this guy. Um, because, uh, essentially we won't have that one guy to, that one, uh, what's his name? The, the one guy that, like, makes the deck good. We won't have him, so really, you probably won't have to worry too much about Ophion. Um, so we have Justice of Prophecy, um, of course this guy's insane. You, uh, get him with, uh, Day of Judgment, or Judgment Day, and then you just remove him and get a Priestess. You got three spellbook magicians, of course, and then you got two Trigodias to slap you from getting no TK. Uh, essentially, because you got one turn, like your first turn, you know, you build up, and then the second turn, it's like you're unkillable. Uh, but uh, that first turn, you need to make sure you don't get OTK by like water or something, so you got the Trigodias. Uh, Heavy Storm Beaver to back row, uh, Monster Reborn, uh, one MST, and two Night Beams. Um, the reason for the Night Beams are. Uh, Really, just because water is relevant, it's like it seems to be the most like problematic deck, and Night Beam is, I feel like, better against that deck than uh, MST is. But uh, maybe I might switch it out if I find problems or like someone's uh, raping me with uh, something. Uh, it reminds me, I need to put MSTs in my set deck. Uh, so we got uh, Judgment Day, of course, Triple Judgment Day, the broken card, uh, Eternity. Um, you know, let's just get back here and move for plays. Um, got two fates, um, one life, one power, and one star hall. I put in the star hall so I got a second power because uh, the second the powers weren't. I really didn't use that often, so they were like whatever. I really never used more than one per game, and uh, some most of the time I didn't use any. Uh, I don't know, it's just my play style, I guess. Uh, I feel I felt like star hall might do a little bit more for me. So then, of course, three secrets, two masters, two wisdom, one tower, and three upstart goblins. The upstart goblins are really just to trigger the uh, the judgment day. So I'm gonna move on the side. Three dolan lockbird. That's for mirror matches. Uh, it really does a lot when they go when they go judgment day, and then you go, and then they go secrets right afterwards. Right, you go activate dolan lockbird. They can't search end phase, and they can't search the rest of the turn. So it really just stops their turn. Uh, gores. Stop yourself from getting OTK against that water. You put it in, take out the tower, put in the gores or whatever. Uh, Overwork, fire fists, uh, mirror forces, just for uh, whatever. These probably become MSTs actually. I'll probably just do that right now. So yeah, it's just gonna be MSTs. Then you got the two puppet plants um, to, to, for mirror matches. Take their high priestess. Uh, you got the Jalen for mirror matches and. For anything really that special summons, you get the breakers. Uh, for pretty much you just side them in. Pretty much that's what you do. You just always put them in to to deal with uh, <coughs> problem cards. And then you got Thunder Kings for mirror matches and all that stuff. These might be uh, these might be mind crushes later, but who knows? We'll go try that out. Actually, I just got Army Arm, a Vulcan. Uh, this guy's coming out. He's pretty good. Uh, Crimson Blader, I think this guy's not really that relevant. Um, this guy probably will be put, I'll probably put a Blood Memphis then over him. Because he's uh, he's not really relevant. Uh, Red Eyes, uh, Scrap Dragon, Stardust, uh, Hyper Librarian, and then Tempest Magician. And then you got the Phoenix, Gachi, Pearl. Then you got this guy, which is the new like level 7. And then you got the Big Eye, and then you got the Shiny Mouth. And that's pretty much it. Uh, tell me what you guys think. Leave comments below and all that jazz. Alright, and I'll see you guys later.